What's up guys, in today's video we're going to talk about what is in my opinion one of the most underrated games of all time and that's Hunt Showdown. You may have heard of Hunt Showdown from friends or live streams, but I know a lot of people don't actually know what the game is about. Uh, so I'm going to make this video to kind of break down what the game is and why it's special, why I think you guys should be playing, especially since it's October and Halloween's coming up. Hunt Showdown is a first-person shooter survival horror game where you play as a gunslinging monster hunter who is hired to take down some of the most legendary monsters in this world. The game takes place in a grim version of the 1890s where monsters have taken over the world and they run rampant. This game has a very unique PvP and PvE system. Each game you'll be hired to take down a legendary monster, but there will be other teams of hunters hired to do the exact same and only one team can extract with the monster's bounty. You and your team are going to collect clues throughout the map which will eventually pinpoint the location of the boss in which you will then have to defeat the boss and then banish it. He's coming, he's coming downstairs. Come on Piggy, let's go. Nicely done. Bye bye Piggy, see you in hell. Once you've defeated the boss, you will collect the bounty and hopefully escape at one of the extraction points. Hell yeah. Nice work. And this is where Hunt Showdown really shines, because as the match progresses, it's going to get more and more intense. Because there will be less places for the boss to be, and that's where the showdown in Hunt Showdown comes into play. Because eventually, you're going to run into other teams, and you're going to have to battle it out and fight for that bounty. He's on fire, he's dropping down. I can't worry about that because I'm getting pushed. Don't worry, I got him. On. All right, I'm healing now because he just closed the door. Sit down. Uh oh, someone shot a... Okay, nice. Just the guys inside then. To emphasize the brutality of the world that you live in, Hunt Showdown features a permadeath system for your hunters. If you die during a raid, then you lose everything your hunter had on them, including all their levels and all of their equipment. By extracting successfully and surviving missions, your character will level up and gain XP, which you can use to unlock new perks which will make your hunter better. New hunters can be purchased, and as you level up, you'll unlock higher tier characters that not only look cooler, but they have much better equipment and much better perks. And here's where things get interesting, because as your hunter gets stronger and better, you also get a little more attached to them, so when you lose them, and if you do lose them, and they die in a mission, you lose them forever. Uh, and that's really scary, and that's kind of where the horror aspect of the game comes in, at least for me. That mixed with the monsters and constant fear of getting uh, ambushed by zombies or immolators, uh, this game is really terrifying. So when you get into a gunfight, no matter how cool or how badass your hunter is, and how good their guns are, if someone gets a drop on you or someone gets a lucky headshot, you can get down in one hit. And that's really scary for a hunter you've been leveling up and uh, you really care about. Got the hive girl. Fuck, there's another one. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh my god, that did so much damage to me. I think that's where this game really stands out. There's not too many games out there that make you really value your character's life. I'm a big fan of Escape from Tarkov, and that is very similar to this game in the sense that uh, when you die, you lose all your gear, but you retain your character's levels. In this game, you lose both your character's gear and your levels. Now you can imagine that this would be a very difficult game for new players to get into, but luckily they've listened to their community and they've made a lot of changes since they released in Early Access. For starters, during your first 10 levels, no matter what happens, even if you die during the raid, you will not lose your hunter or their equipment. Which is a really smart move on their part because as a new player learning the map, learning the weapons, uh, learning just how to deal with the AI enemies alone is hard enough but to get killed by highly skilled players who've been playing forever uh, is pretty demoralizing. And if you lost your hunter every time like you did back in the day, it'd be really rough. So I think this is a great improvement to the game and it really lets you learn the ropes without having to constantly fear about losing your hunter. They also added the gunslinger mode, which is a different control scheme than the normal game, which is the hunter mode. 
Gunslinger mode is basically your average first-person shooter controls. The regular game, when it launched, had only a very uh, clunky hunter mode, which uh, was very unintuitive to most people who played first-person shooters. So this is also a huge, huge step forward into getting a lot of new players into the game. Nice. Uh, his friends coming from the northwest. They've also recently added a quick play mode, which is a single player battle royale type experience where you're given a random hunter with a random loadout and you go about the map collecting weapons and equipment. The goal of this mode is to kill the other players in the map and collect wellspring energy which can be converted into XP. If you survive and win a quick play mode, you get to keep all of the gear that you extracted with. This mode is great for newer players because you get to kind of learn the map, you get to learn the weapons, and it's a more even playing field. Also, since your hunter is free, you really have nothing to lose. So now that you know a little bit more about the game, let's talk about my favorite aspect, and it is the style. The game is running on the Crytek engine, so it looks incredible. The atmosphere, the music, the hunters, just the whole feeling of the game is just oozing with style, and it's so cool. It's kind of this horror, western, bloodborne feel, and I love it. I personally would love to see a TV show or a movie based on this game. I'm looking at you, Netflix. Someone do it, please, because this game is just begging for it. It's such a cool world that they built, and it feels very immersive, and it's really unlike any other shooter you've ever played. So another aspect of the game that really sets it apart from other shooters are the weapons that you're going to be using. Since it's kind of in the western times, you're going to be using revolvers and lever-action rifles, but with a twist, because you are hunting monsters after all. So that double barrel shotgun, as you play with it, you'll be able to upgrade it and connect an axe to the back of it. Or your Cold War revolver, you'll be able to upgrade it and have a chain link around it to let it shoot way more ammo and be able to fan the hammer on that thing. It's one of my favorite guns in the game. I think it's so cool. The weapon selection in this game is huge, and it also really changes the way you engage fights. It's much slower paced than other first person shooters you'll play, like PUBG or Apex Legends. And I think that actually makes it more intense because the fights are much more realistic in how you would do a real gun fight as opposed to just running into battle as fast as you can and shooting your gun as quickly as possible. On me, they're on me. Fall back, fall back. I, I, I literally can't pull back, I'm, I'm like boxed in. I'm probably dead. Moving around. I need you to rotate around as fast I'm as coming, possible. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, they're inside, they're inside. Like downstairs. So, oh shit! Right here, right here, on the steps. Yeah. I I hit one, but I'm like extremely hurt. Got one. Nice. Okay, the other one's coming. Ooh, nice, dude. Ooh, hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. This game is much more about deliberate setups, ambushes, lines of sight. Uh, it's really different and it's very refreshing to play a game that focuses so much on the gunfights and the intensity of what it would be like healing. to actually be in a gunfight like this. I'm healing. Right here. On me, I need help. No. Yeah, he had a shoddy. I just needed you with me. I don't see them. I don't know. That was stupid of me to push, but he's right there by the tree. They're trying to crossbow me. The reason why Hunt Showdown has some of the most intense gunfights I've ever been in is because your life actually matters. There's just so much more at stake in Hunt Showdown than other shooters, because when you die, you lose everything. And because of this, the risk versus the reward of the game is so high compared to any other game you could play right now. Uh, it's really exhilarating, and it really gets your heart pumping. She's on your side of the fence. She's, she's moving. She's getting chased. Got hit. I think he's on the side of the red barn. I'm gonna flank around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he knows, he knows. Ooh, oh, hell yeah. Baby! What do you got? I'm not gonna lie to you by saying that the game doesn't have a high learning curve, but it's one of those games that when you put the time into it, the reward will be great. Oh. What's up, pups? Ooh, look at it slide. Thank you. So if you guys are into first-person shooters, you like horror games and horror movies, 
and uh, you're a fan of Bloodborne, then this game is for you. You should definitely try it. This is currently the best time you could play Hunt Showdown. There's a lot of people playing. They've made a lot of quality of life changes to the game. They've added a new map, new boss. It's a lot of fun, guys. Well, I do have an axe attached to my shotgun. Oh, fuck. Ow. 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 <laughs> well, I hope you guys learned something. I'm a big fan of the game. I've been playing a lot, especially since it's October and Halloween's just around the corner. If you guys are into first-person shooters and you're looking for a horror game that is legitimately scary, then check this game out, guys. I'll have a link in the description below. This video is not sponsored in any way. Uh, I'm just a big fan of the game. I know a lot of people don't know about it, and I kind of wanted to share uh, some information on it because I think it's really cool, and right now is the perfect time to play. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you did. If you didn't like the video, then hit the dislike button, and I'll see you guys next time.